Aloha everybody, welcome back to uh, my uh, Mark's uh, Bible study, and today is the 15th uh, of uh, April 2024, it's 10.35 a.m., and it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a very beautiful weather today. So today, we are going to uh, uh, talk about, about uh revelation chapter 7 about god's people will be preserved about god's people will be preserved because it's very important what is going to happen uh, what is uh, what is going to happen to people who believe in god and listen to this then i saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth holding back the four winds so they did not blow uh, the earth uh, so they did, not, they did not blow the earth one more time then i saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth holding back the four winds so they did not blow on the earth or the sea or even any tree and I saw another angel coming up from the east, carrying the seal of the living God, and shouted for, and shouted uh, to those four angels who have been giving power to harm land and sea. Wait, don't harm the land or the sea or the trees. Until we have placed the seal of God and the foreheads of his servants. And I heard how many were marked with the seal of God. 144,000 were sealed from all the tribes of Israel. From Judah, from Reuben, from God, from Asher, from Nethel from Manasseh, from Simon, from Levi, from Issachar, from Zebulun, from Joseph, Benjamin, all those 12,000 people from all those places, 12,000 people from all those places. And now, God's with people will be preserved. Who are those four angels? It was those four angels. One angel was coming from the east. One angel was coming from the east. And it was and it was shouting Don't harm the land. Don't harm the sea. Don't harm the trees. God's people will be preserved. What does that mean? Don't harm anybody. Don't harm the land. Don't harm the sea. Don't harm the trees. Don't harm the nature. You don't harm the human. Uh, you don't harm the human body. Don't harm. My topic is for today. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't harm anybody with no reason. If you are even angry, keep your hands to yourself. This is really important to understand that, that for your safety and for anybody, any other, anybody else's safety, to keep your hands to yourself. God is watching everything. God is watching everything. You're not supposed to harm children. You're not supposed to harm anybody who loves you or who is trying to take care of you, who is your friend, who is, who is, try, uh, who is trying to say something to you like a compliment, like a nice thing. Don't harm anybody. Keep your hands to yourself. It's really important to do not harm anybody because violence did not explain anything. 
violence did not explain anything. So because we are now with the red horse, we are just coming into the red horse, which is, means gore and violence, which is which people do not deserve. People do not deserve violence and gore and and a blood. Uh, people do not deserve those kinds of things. People do not be deserve to be uh, to be abused to, uh, to to get killed. People do not deserve this. But that is the fallen world that we are living in. The world is surrounding the curse. The world is surrounding the court, uh, the curse. So all we have to do. Is to maintain that God is doing something for us. We'll be persecuted because God, because we are children of God. We are children of God. We are will be we will be persecuted from people that they don't believe in God. We will be persecuted. People will call, uh, be calling names on us. But just because we are children of God, we are children of God, so we'll, we, we will be harmed. But that is not the point to be harmed right now. It's not the point to get harmed right now because it's really important to understand that violence are not the explanation but the red horse is running around the the, the city of the new jerusalem means that the red horse is trying to hurt other people because the red horse is a symbol of gore and violence and all those other things. Why are we doing that? Why are we beating? Uh, why are we beating uh, each other up? Why are we? Why are we? Why are we doing this? Why are we using hands to the? To, uh, uh, why are we using physical? Uh, uh, why are we uh, using phys uh, physical reaction to other people? It just doesn't make any sense, isn't it? It just doesn't make any sense. Don't harm the land, don't harm the sea, don't harm the trees, and don't harm the humankind. Don't harm humans because everybody has a has a has a right to live. Everybody has a a right to uh, have bodies. Everybody has a right to have friends, to be loved, to be to to be taken care of. But those people, what they doing now today, is unacceptable. Is harmful. Is harmful. Is unhealthy. Is completely. Is really not. Not godly. The point is that those four angels were uh, those. That uh, this one sh uh, one angel was coming from the east, and that uh, that angel wants to, wants to harm the trees, the sea, the land, the whole world. But one of the uh, one, the three sh uh, shouted. Don't harm anybody. Don't harm the land. Don't harm the sea. Don't harm the mountains. Don't harm the land. Don't, don't harm the trees. Don't harm the humans. Don't harm people. Don't harm children. Children are innocent. Children have a right to play around, to have fun. To laugh, to have friends, and do those all those kinds of stuff. 
But Satan doesn't allow uh, uh, allow this because he's the devil. He is the one who is the uh, who is the father of lies. He is the thief who wants to kill, steal, and destroy. He's the one who is destroying all the friendships and relationships. He's the one that has horns and wants to destroy every, every single God's creation. God wants us to have friends. God wants us to be loved. God wants us to have mercy on people. God wants us to uh, be kind to other people, but Satan doesn't like it. We don't like, we don't like when Satan is torturing us in some, in some kind of a way to stay, uh, for us to stay away from God. We're gonna do what we want. We're gonna be with God. We will be Christians. We have a, uh, we have a right to believe in God. Nobody is going to force us to do what we don't want to do. Nobody is going to do, nobody is going to use us. Satan is using us because he wants to hurt us. He's the one who wants to hurt us. That's the, de what, that's what the devil is doing. But don't listen to the devil. Because the le the devil is the whole harm thing, but Jesus, he's love, he's friends, he's protection, he's everything good. That's the. That's the whole point of this. That's the whole point that God's people will be preserved. That means don't harm. Don't harm. Keep your hands to yourself. If you want to hit somebody, say, say, no, God is with me. I will not do that. I will not harm anybody. I will not. Uh, I will not hit anybody. I will not. I will not uh, tackle anybody. I will not. I will not do anything what can hurt other people. Because this is what Satan is doing. We don't want to do what Satan is doing. We want to do what God is doing. Stop talking negative. Uh, stop telling negative things to yourself. Forgive your past. Forgive those people who were be uh, who were uh, who were such uh, terrible to you. Forgive those people. God will forgive you, but don't harm anybody. Don't harm the sea. Don't harm the land. Don't harm the trees. Don't harm the child. Don't harm a human being. Don't harm people. Because harming is Satan's way, which, which violence is Satan's way, but God's way is healing, is forgiveness. It's what the beauty is in this, is what the beauty is in this world. To not harm anybody. The beauty of this world is that we are children of God. The beauty of this world that God lets us to uh, give us a chance to have friends in this world, to, to to give us parents who are not who uh, who are not too strict on us. This is what God is giving us a chance to go through all those obstacles that we are in, uh, that we have in our life. Those are obstacles in our life that we will cross until Jesus returns. But the thing is, if you cross those obstacles,
in God's way that He will bless you. That's why people will be uh, people will be so jealous of other people. People will will be so jealous of us because they did wrong. They worship the wrong God, and they were uh, they didn't worship the true Lord. They worship the true. Other, we are worshiping the true Lord. But we don't worship Satan. We do not worship other gods. It's really dangerous to worship other gods. Otherwise, otherwise, it will be chaotic in this world. This is really important. Don't harm anybody with your hands. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands like this. If you, uh, if you are talking to somebody, if you want to hit somebody, say to yourself, No, I will not hit anybody because I will not listen to Satan. I will listen to God's desire. I will listen to God that he will not harm me. I will listen to God that he will not, that he will forgive me. That he will forgive me, that he is my best friend in the whole wide world, in the whole wide universe. That's what God is telling you, that God is everybody's friend. Even non-believers, that God loves them. But they don't love him, but he loves us so much. And he wants us in the kingdom of heaven. He wants us in the kingdom of heaven so we can live forever and forever. So we can live forever. This is really important right now. If you are the meanest child in your family, that is not your fault. That is Satan's fault. Parents did not raise you as a mean child. Satan raised you as a, a mean child. You said, Satan, get out of my house. Get out of my life. I don't need you anymore. I want to be a good person. I want to have friends. I want to have good communications with my family. It's really important to stay away from the dark side. Stay away from the dark side. Get into God's side. Get into the side that is full of light and joy and, and love and friendship. But stay away from the side where are violence and gore and all that stuff. This is the whole thing. Keep your, uh, keep your hands to yourself. Parents are not hitting their children. Satan is doing this. Children are, children are not bullying other children. Satan is doing it. Satan is doing everything, everything to harm other people. To hurt other people. This is what the devil is doing. But in Isaiah chapter 4, 54 verse 17 says, No weapon shall against us shall prosper. Means that not no weapon, no bad person, no bully will harm us because we are the children of God. We are the children of God, so we want to keep our hands to yourself instead of, instead of fighting and beating and all that stuff. Those people who are picking on you at school, those are all the lies about you. They are surrounding you and you are, excuse me, and you are just, you are just, a, you are just 
and great are those lies. But those lies are from Satan that he's trying to torture you. But God will save you. God will save you. Say, Lord, I don't want to be in this place where, where, uh, well, where people or parents are picking on me. I want to be in a better place where I can have friends, where I can have a good communication with other people. I don't want to be with Satan anymore. I want to be with you, Lord. I want to be with you, God. You are the priest of all priests. You are the pastor of all pastors. You are the king of the world. You are the king of the world. You don't harm anybody. You don't harm anybody. You don't harm your children. You don't harm. You don't harm anybody. Devil, stay away from me. I don't want you. I'm going to say, ah, I don't want you. But God, this is the, this is the person I want. God, I want you. God, you're speaking the truth about me. God, you are showing me the future where I'm going to be. Where I am going to be. Lots of people are in darkness. But yes. Because the devil. Forced them to go into. People are not hurting you. Just because they are people. The devil is hurting you. And is trying to get you. Uh, 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 take advantage of you. Of bad things that you don't want to do. Think about for one thing. Think about one. Th think about about the time. Uh, think about the time when you want you you were a child and you want to have friends, but. They, you were living with a difficult marriage. You were living with a difficult marriage. And all, all of a sudden, you get... You are broke. You have no friends. You have no family. And this is what the devil is doing. You don't want to... You don't want to... You, uh, you want to be patient with God. You want to focus on God. God is the one who is trying to keep you safe. Satan is trying to say that God, he's a naughty boy, but, but Satan is the one who is the naughty one, and God is the one who is the good guy, who is a faithful, who has lots of hard work for you. Think about one thing and think about what are you doing. Think about what are you doing before you do something. Before you do something, don't do it. Just think about it. Is that good or can it hurt somebody? Do not, do not like do it and just think what you're doing. Think what you're doing first, and then think about it. Is that good for me to do? This is what God wants me to do. If people don't like you, just leave it alone. Go forward. God loves you. You have other friends. Other people do not understand your behavior. Other people do not understand uh, where, where you going through. That's why it's so hard for other people to understand you. How you look like. How you, um, how you, how you working, uh, how you working in yourself in this, uh, in this, uh, part, uh, in this part of life. People do not like you because they don't understand you. People are not your friends because they just don't understand you. 
people don't don't want to be mean to you. People don't want to be. Uh, people don't want to uh, take advantage of you. But people who don't like you, they really, they don't understand you. They don't understand your personality. God is understanding your personality because He knows you when you were you were in mother's womb. This is how this is how God's people will be preserved. Do not harm anybody. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't conquer evil by evil. Con conquer good. Conquer, e uh, conquer evil by good. Don't conquer evil by evil. Conquer good. Conquer by, uh, conquer good. Uh, conquer, conquer evil by good. This is what, this is what I'm talking about today. And my dear friends, please remember, if you have something if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. Just keep this to yourself. Keep this, keep this to yourself. Let God throw all those bad things out of your mind. Don't say to other, don't say to others. Don't call, uh, don't call names on other people. Do not harm anybody. Keep your hands to yourself. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful message, what we heard today. Thank you so much for uh, joining me in this Bible study. Please keep subscribing, hitting, uh, hitting that notification bell, and I will see you next time. God bless you, and stay away from trouble.